and good rising, everyone. Happy New Year, and welcome to the very first Sunday of the month. And guess where you're beginning your, your beginning on Sunday? You're beginning right here at Agape International Spiritual Center. You had a, a powerful injection of a powerful reading, a wonderful prayer, and that's the way you want to begin your life. That's the way you want to begin the year, which is actually <clears throat> just another day, crossing over into another day. But in order to have a new year, we have to be new within ourselves. There has to be a vitalizing, regenerating newness that becomes activated within us. We can't live linearly from the past, carrying the past and navigating through the present, which is a projection of the past. We actually have to be new. And so meditation is one of the keys that unlocks the door to the uh, vitalizing newness within our own soul. That which is eternal, that which is perennial, that which is forever, that which is always, that which has no birth suffers no death, that which is the real you, it's new right here and right now. And though it may have been covered up by time and experiences and perceptions of experiences and interpretations of experiences that birth the tributaries of fear and lack and limitation, scarcity, separation, avarice, greed, not enoughness, those tributaries obviously coming from a perception of separation, separation from the eternal that is within you and that ultimately is your very life and your very being. So the art and the science of meditation provides us with a regular opportunity to stop, pull our attention away from the world of experience, the world of appearances, circumstances, situations, people, places, things of which the average individual is always caught up in that world of phenomena. They believe that's real living, caught up in that world of phenomena. No, real living is the un, uh, per, per, participating in the unfoldment of your soul, which provides a dynamic peace of mind, great sense of well-being, and the tributary of oneness, and, and, and the magnificent expression of the eternal verities, of eternal joy, divine love, abundance, all of these qualities begin to be the activity of your awareness. And though you learn to live in the world of phenomena, you're always above the world of phenomena because you've leaned into and you're allowing the activity of divine mind be the activity of your individualized expression of a divine mind so that you may be in it but you're not of it at all this is what levitation means not necessarily walking on water not necessarily lifting above the earth with your feet even though that is possible but to levitate is to be above the fray of the human experience and then you're able to be an onlooker and you can actually see the outworking of the law of mind in action and people's misuse or right useness, righteousness of the use of the law all through the world. You can see individuals scattered around in fear and worry and doubt and forlornness and all manner of things as a perpetual habit, which is the misuse of the law. And then you can see people resilient you can see people innovative, creative. You can see people generous and loving, which is the expression of righteousness or being on the right side of the law or the right use of the law, the law of mind in action, capital L law, so that your life bears witness to the truth that makes you free. Capital T truth is the truth of being. Now, everything that I'm saying now is, is simply the finger pointing towards the moon. They are, they are the words about uh, the truth, activated, yes, by over 40 years of practice of meditation, uh, but the truth is what you come to know when you practice, when you become still on a regular basis, when the dross of the mind is dissolved 
and you begin to see like you have never seen before. You become like a child, like a, a baby, like a, a, a beginner's mind. You just see the great opportunities and possibilities that are everywhere, and then, you were, then you'll notice that you were blinded by the world of effects. You know, it, it talks about the fact that, you know, the, the babies come as a blank slate and people just mark on it, <laughs> you know, until pretty soon the child is marked up with all kinds of perceptions and beliefs, you know, received from the world of effects. Well, you become like you were before people started marking on you, before there was an imprint from the world, and you see life differently, and you see the great, vast, endless horizon of infinite possibilities, and you live in that domain. Now, what I'm saying to you right now is real. And once you taste it, you're never satisfied with anything but it. And then the great it colors everything else. The eating of your food tastes better. The hugging with your partner's take, taste it feels better. Everything is tinged with the uh, supernal heights of your oneness with the presence of God. So why wait? We threw away the old theology. Remember that theology? It still, it still lingers a little bit now, but it's, it's dying very fast. Remember the old theology where people believed that life was a veil of tears and you were going to die and you were going to go to a place called heaven? Remember that? Many of you are kind of young. You may not remember that, but people used to really believe that. But they had forgotten the teachings of Jesus that said that the kingdom of heaven is at hand now and the kingdom of God is within now. And so we're not going to waste our life waiting to go to heaven. We're going to bring, we're going to put on heaven, expanded consciousness, and take it with us everywhere we go. It begins with the sacred art and the practice of meditation, paying undistractable attentiveness to that which is real and eternal until that becomes the activity of your awareness. Let's practice. This morning, let's place our hands on our lap, facing upward, touch the finger, the fourth, the, excuse me, the middle finger and the thumb, the, the heart mudra, so we're entering into this moment with a deep sense of devotion and love and availability to this presence that is never an absence, that is within us, is us, surrounds us, cradles us, loves us, because it is love itself. Take your shoulders and go up to your ears for a moment and squeeze everything. Release. You may naturally notice that there's a little smile that just emerged when you released. You can maintain that smile. Because you're participating in your own unfolding. As I've taught over the years, we're not merely anticipants, anticipating good. We are participants. Through the art and science of the practice of spiritual principles, we are participating in the eternal presence that's already here. So if you will, let the body relax. Smile on the face. This is a, an intentional spiritual community that encourages individuals to live an intentional life. That doesn't mean you force things to happen in your world. It means you have an intention. It's like a rudder. You have a direction in which you're moving. And then you're able to navigate and not only navigate, but to deal with whatever happens from a higher order of being. So in meditation, we establish an intention to wake up to our glorious nature. That can be expressed many ways. I'm waking up to my glorious nature. 
I'm having a great realization of my oneness with the presence that is never an absence. I'm coming to know the God presence. I'm coming to wake up to that which is closer than my breathing and nearer than my hands and feet. I'm waking up from the intoxicated sleep of separation from God. So we embrace an intention. You can embrace your intention in your own words, but we're waking up to our glorious nature. Feel into that intention. Notice that as you're feeling into your intention, you're attentive to it. Your attention isn't somewhere else. You're bringing your attention here, where your intention is. You're gaining, moment by moment, dominion over the attention. Here it is with your breath. Here it is with your intention. The breath is present. You're not breathing in the future, nor the past. Breath is present so that you're staying present. Now you lean into the lowly listening, which is an availability beyond the ears, beyond the eyes. Your consciousness is receptive to the impress of pure spirit. It may show up as keen listening or hearing the invisible, I mean the inaudible, seeing the invisible, but it's beyond the sensorium. It's beyond the eyes and the ears and the smell, the taste and the touch. Pure consciousness is available to catch insight, revelation, wisdom, guidance, direction, emanating from divine mind, always. And of course, this is our very first time practicing meditation. Veteran or beginner, we enter into this space for the first time.
if drift has occurred, no big deal. That's what the mind does, drifts, fantasizes, has inner conversations, thinking this occurs. It's okay. Bring your attention back to your intention and your sacred breath and begin again. If you get caught up in this phenomena, the stimulation, it's okay. Just notice it. Just watch it. If you get caught up, pull your attention out, come back to the breath and begin again.
mindful of your attention. Heartful, mindful, aware, intentional.
mindful, heartful. If the mind has drifted somewhere, just come back. Slight smile on the face. Embrace whatever is happening presently. Thought forms, emotional patterns, sensations, sounds. Without resisting, you just become aware. Your awareness transmutes energy that you may transcend. Another moment, pure silence. Take a deep inhalation. Release the sound of ah. Oh. Oh. 
And with that smile on your face, begin to glorify life with a deep sense of gratitude. Dynamic appreciation, thankfulness. Just feel in your heart space a pure sense of being thankful for your life, thankful for everything, regardless of what's going on circumstantially in your life right now. Come above the fray for a moment and just be grateful that you exist. Be grateful for existence itself. Be grateful for endless opportunities to grow and unfold, endless possibilities of so much within us that wants to emerge. Just, just be grateful. Come with me into the land of gratitude and begin to recognize the great presence, this oceanic, infinite, cosmic beingness that is everywhere, back of all things, never absorbed by its creation, bigger than its creation, infinite. We begin to see the outworkings of the Spirit and recognize that our life is indeed one with God. We're able to say that unequivocally, one with God. I'm one with God. I'm one with God. My life is the life of God. Everything is working together for my good. I know this in my bones. We feel one with God and evoke the law in such a way that as this word is spoken, mighty, mighty, wonderful things occur in our life. It's already occurring. We're simply removing the obstacles and the hindrance mentally and emotionally that that which is occurring perpetually is now coming through us. We are, our life is bearing witness to health. Our life is bearing witness to joy and abundance and harmonizing prosperity. Our life is bearing witness to strength and to vitality and vigor. Our life is bearing witness to divine wisdom, creative intelligence, transforming knowledge. Our life is bearing witness to the presence of God that is now the activity of our awareness. It's something beyond the theoretical hypothesis. It's real, becoming more and more real with every breath that we take. This is the law that's being evoked now. This word is the law of elimination to anything that would hinder, obstruct, delay, or deny the fullness of life from expressing through us. We walk in integrity with our soul. How do we know we're in integrity with our soul? We have moments of bliss and ecstasy, moments of joy. Moments of dynamic peace. That's how we know we are in, in integrity with our soul faculty. So we come into high integrity. We elicit joy and gratitude. We name this day good. We name this week good, this month good, uh, this year good, this life good, the good of God, not mere human concept of good, but the good that is pervading everywhere all the time. We receive it. And it's happening now. Right this moment, it's happening. Now we let it happen through and as us. And so it is. Amen. Hmm. So thank you so much for participating in the first Sunday of the month, the way of meditation service. What a, begin to, what a way to begin your week. The thousands of people that are online tuning in at this particular moment to stop, to be still, to catch the divine impress of the Spirit for that which is impresses ultimately is expressed. So we want to live at that level. Thank you. This is our opportunity to begin your year in the right spirit of generosity, to start off the year right in terms of generosity, in terms of giving, supporting, circulating energy. Begin that way. And then watch as, as you begin this way, it creates momentum. And then that momentum cascades into more ways to give, which means 
you're being more available to more ways to receive, permanently prospering yourself. We stop in this moment and we turn within and we give thanks. We give thanks that the great God of the universe is the same yesterday, today, and forever, never compromises its nature, and that as we yield to this presence, we don't have any superstitious thought that the presence is going to change up on us. God is always God. And in this moment of generosity of our own heart and soul, the presence of God floods our being with more and more to give across the board. We bless this sacred community known as Agape International. We give thanks for it and all of its ministries and programs, and we allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. Thank you very much for those of you who are veterans uh, to the giving process at Agape. We appreciate you over these last months and years being very, very generous and allowing us to sustain the work here even, do, even during a time in which uh, the coronavirus is slowing down economies and things of that particular nature. We appreciate your generosity that we may continue to do the work that we're called to do. Go forth and give your gift. If you're new to the process, there's at least three ways you can do this. You can begin right now by texting to donate. Text the word GIVE to 424-321-6243. Your phone will prompt you. You choose the amount. You choose the consistency of your giving. You can do a one-time gift or you can give on a weekly basis or monthly, however you feel at this moment. Text the word GIVE to 424 424- 321-6243 right now. Or you can mail your donation in, whether we call it a gift, a donation, an offering. You can do so right this moment by making out your checks and money orders to Agape International and mail this to 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156. Beverly Hills, California, 90211. Appreciate it, the, the year-end gifts. Appreciate the year-end cards and letters and testimonies that you've been sending in. It's beautiful to behold. You can make that donation. Uh, you can mail it in right now. Put USA, particularly if you're from another country. You know, we had the great intensive this first day of the month. It was way over 1,000 people that participated. And I think there was like... 30, 40 countries that were represented online with me. It was powerful. So, 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California. Now, if you want to go to our website, agapelive.com, please do so. It's a donation button right there that you can use. There's a donation button on the Facebook page. No excuse. Go forth and multiply. Don't get distracted as I invite the Reverend Julie Moret to come forward to highlight some wonderful things at Agape. Thank you. To sign up or get more information about any of the items that we mentioned, visit agapelive.com and all times are Pacific time. If you missed Agape's New Year's intensive, The Sovereign Soul, Meditation, Visioning, and Activation with Reverend Michael, you can purchase access to the archive until January 15th. 2021. The archive is available 24-7, so you can watch and revisit Rev's dynamic teachings, meditation, visioning, and activation as often as you like. Begin 2021 in the high vibration of powerful intention setting and engage in powerful spiritual practices and technologies that vibrationally align us to the truth of our being. Join Reverend Michael in the first class of the new year, Meditation 2.0. This is a great way to kick off the new year. Strengthen your spiritual muscle, recommit to a deeper meditation practice, and build a strong foundation in preparation for the year ahead. It's five Tuesdays beginning January 12th at 6 p.m. Teen Agape is open online today at 11.15 a.m. We have two classes for our Agape youth. One is for 9 to 13-year-olds at 2 p.m. The other is for 3 to 8-year-olds at 3.30. They're both live in 
the Zoom room with music, singing, and more. Email revleon at agapelive.com to receive your weekly youth fun packs and join the classes. Agape has daily morning prayer at 8 a.m. and noon meditation on our Facebook page. Would you like to speak with somebody? Crisis Support Clinic will be in session tomorrow. Email crisis support at agapelive.com to set up your 20 minute virtual appointment between 4 and 6 p.m. This Tuesday, Laughter Yoga meets on Zoom at 6 p.m. It's facilitated by Agape practitioner Martin Weech. And Freedom Path meets this Wednesday at 5 p.m. via Zoom. Co create your unique freedom through embodying spiritual practices and principles. Release attachments, old thought patterns, and addictions. Everyone is welcome, and it's open to the public. Agape Spiritual Community Gatherings. These are on Friday at 5.30. Join an enriching, inspiring gathering led by Agape's practitioners and ministers. Email scg at agapelive.com. Loving Hands Unite. Do you see how busy we are? There's so much available. Loving Hands Unite, the Adoption Foster Care Fertility Ministry will have its monthly meeting January 8th at 7 p.m. via Zoom. If you'd like to support if you'd like support with any aspect of the adoption process, email lovinghandsunite at agapelive.com. Join the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer plus ministry Saturday, January 9th from 3 at 3 p.m. via Zoom featuring Reverend Christina Pena speaking on spirituality and sexuality, two sides of the same coin. Email lgbt at agapelive.com. Agape Nation, how has being a part of the beloved community changed your life? Has Reverend Michael's teachings enhanced your practice or helped you find your purpose? What's your testimony? We want to know your story and all the great work you're doing in the world, and we will share your Agape miracle. Make sure to upload your two-minute video using the banner on our website. And lastly for today, it takes practice to lift your frequency when things aren't going according to your perception of how you think they should be. And as Reverend Michael says, that's when you have to get down like James Brown and get up and dance. Send us your one minute video dancing during a Sunday service, upload it on the banner on our website and you may see yourself dance with the Rev on social media and on Sundays. Always do the hashtag dance with the Rev and tag Agape. Welcome to 2021. God bless you. Welcome to 2021. I was listening to Reverend Julie. There is a lot going on here. Like, what? <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> and it's continuing to emerge in very powerful ways. Thank you for your generosity to ensure that this continues to happen, regardless of the fact that most people can't see. I mean, I can see you, but most people can't see. There's, there's no one here. But we're continuing to carry on in a very powerful way. Thank you for participating. We turn within right now and we give thanks. We give thanks for the generosity that's flowing through these individuals right now that are ensuring the ongoingness of these teachings through the Agape International Spiritual Center and all of its evolutionary collaborations, ministries, programs, projects, staff, equipment, ministers, and more. Thank you, life, for, and thank you, individuals, for letting life flow through you in a big way. It's happening now, and so it is. Amen. Hmm. We're out of here. We're going to sing a verse of this song, and then you can join us at 8.30 a.m. for another meditation service, and then the 9 o'clock service, or 11 o'clock meditation service. Or 11, and then the 1130 Return service. Listen. To me. Return to me. With every breath. Return. It's sounding wonderful. End, End and begin. Begin with me. With every breath. With every breath. Return. Return. Why don't you sing that right there in your own, your home right now? Return to me. With every breath. Return. I'm returning to my authentic self. End and begin. 
with every breath, I am returning to myself. As we stand on the tiptoe of the nowness of this moment, we peer over to the promised land of our own being where we see infinite possibilities looming large. We embrace the infinite and allow the great God of the universe to have its way with us that our lives may bear witness to the truth, to the love, the peace, the joy, the abundance, the regeneration, the rejuvenation that comes from having an intimate at one minute with pure spirit. This is happening right now, and we allow it to be so. Therefore, we can say, and so it is. Amen. So be it.